Hey folks, um, peace everybody out there in YouTube land and the, uh, you, uh, genuine, uh, quadcopter friends that I have, really appreciate you guys. Um, this is a sneak peek at something I've been working on. Uh, about two days this is an orange frame same frame as the red pill but this one happens to be orange I also have a blue one another orange one and I'm waiting for some red ones to come off the assembly line because I really like the red ones more than uh, the other colors um like I said sneak peek this is a sneak peek of a new build this is the XKX350. A lot smaller. <laughs> um, this is just a rough draft of what we've kind of been wanting to do for a while. Uh, stock ESC, stock motor. I had to make a little bracket here in the back for the tail light. Then I got to cut these down because I know I'm going to have fitment issues when it comes to the blades. I was going to chop down some Phantom Tri-Blades, but I'm waiting for some Bullnose props to come that are in three blades. I got Bullnose coming, two blades, and I got some Tri-Blade Bullnose coming. Um, either way, they're for 250 frames, so I'm probably going to have to drill out the holes to make it bigger, so they will fit in there. That's a trip. A lift for the blades. I wonder if they make any kind of adapter that you can put on the motor to raise the blades up. Because if that were the case, I could really bypass a lot of trouble, man. I wonder if they make any lifts. Like a motor lift or a blade lift to make the blade actually higher. If you guys know of anything like that, please chime in and let me know. Anyway, none of this is connected. This is just a sneak peek of the... Of a new 250 size XKX350 rat rod. I haven't come up with a name yet. And on orange, we're gonna give it some kind of orange theme, maybe like Orange Crush or something stupid. Um, anyway, there you go, guys. Uh, wish me luck. Hope it's good. I gotta probably wrap up. Uh, I got a little little walk to the bus stop to catch the bus back home for the night, then I'll come back and visit mom tomorrow and break out the toys and start work again. Anyway, yeah, this is an idea. Uh, I love 350 size frames. I don't know why I'm going down to 250. I've just been kind of sort of getting a kick out of the big ASC, ESCs on a little frame. Um, nothing is secure. I'm just kind of getting a idea of how we're going to get some fitting in. Um, I got to take this off and go outside. I got to do some cutting and some gluing. I think the biggest issue really is just going to be getting the blades on the motors and then getting the motors to not hit if and when it spins. But anyway, I think that's pretty cool looking, man. I'm really digging this. And the uh, red pill, it will be out again soon. I'm waiting on some boards. It seems to be increasingly harder, increasingly more difficult to find. Uh, oh, anybody need an XKX350 body? Here it is, untouched. Uh, not a scratch on it, not a crack on it. Just uh, we have to gut it. I'm going to splice these plugs for the LEDs because we're going on the LEDs that's going to be made into the frame like the rat rod. Anyway, not the rat rod. Um, the red pill will be back out. It, it seems to be increasingly difficult to find the version 1 Bugs 3 receiver boards. Uh, every time I order one, what, what they're sending is the version 2 boards. 
Now, any of you guys who build quads, if you could, I don't have any builders on my channel though, but, but any of you guys who know how to build quads or do build quads, if you can tell me the uh, version 1 board has a positive and negative wire, and then it has two wires for your signal wire. And uh, that's kind of like how the Bang Toys X16 is set up. Positive and negative on the ESC. And then a little plug with a positive and negative for the signal wire. Version 2 ESCs have positive and negative wire going to the board. And then it has one signal wire going to the board instead of two. My question is, if I take a version 2 ESC... And wire it to a no if I take a version one ESC and I think I should be able to wire it to a version two board um, I would believe that all we'd have to do is cut the ground wire off the signal wire and just run one signal wire to the board instead of two and if that works, then that will alleviate a lot of little uh, obstacles that I have. Because then I can take a version 2 board and do all my mods with instead of having to always try to find a version 1 board. So that's my question. If you have two wires for the signal wire on your ESC, and you want to put it on a board that only requires one wire, can you in fact cut that? that one uh, negative wire and just run that one wire for the signal wire. If you can, then that will make things a lot cooler for me. Um, yeah, I really, really want to put the, rat, the uh, red tail back together, man. I dig that bird. Um, I got a 350 frame, couple 350 frames. I have a 340, uh, a 380 or a 400 frame coming or some shit. Anyway, Man, I'm just, you know, I'm in the hobby, man. Uh, blindly kind of fumbling my way around trying to get a fun mousetrap. Okay, thanks guys. Really appreciate all your patience and your viewership. All right, peace. And I hope I feel better too. My health is sort of, yeah. All right. Oh, middle finger for all the lost quads. <laughs> peace. Mm -hmm. yeah.